Hello and welcome to my Monday. I'm not doing a lot of filming this week because I've still got loads of at this time on this Monday, I've still got loads of footage left over from my week in Exmoor. Actually, it wasn't a week, three nights, two full days. Yes, I'm, so I'm still editing my way through it and I'm just like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get these up in time every night? Because I keep having things happening. So I've had two gigs so far and today I've got one rehearsal. I was supposed to have a rehearsal tomorrow but I've just found out that's not happening but it might be on Wednesday instead. But anyway, I've just been like, <laughs> trying to get the videos up. So that's why I haven't been filming much. But today I'm going in about, half an hour from now, I need to make myself a little sandwich to take with me because it's not long since I've had breakfast. The glorious weather doth continue as you see, beautiful blue sky with not a cloud in it. I'm really enjoying it, it's like getting a bonus holiday abroad in Britain because <laughs> of the weather alone. But I'm beginning to wonder, it's starting to seem a bit eerie because it's just going on for so long. I can't even remember when it last rained and I'm wondering if the reservoirs might be getting a bit low. That one we passed the other day on the way to our gig, that, that definitely looked lower than usual. So, oh, fingers crossed about that. I'm leaving my daughter to do the washing up today. She's quite happy to do that. So I don't have to do that. Um, she's gonna put her laundry away because it, oh, it's out of control. It's happened again, basically. I've got to the point where I'm having to rummage through there to find a clean pair of pants to put on in the morning. <laughs> it's definitely time for it to go away. I haven't shown you this yet, have I? Isabel bought me this as a combined Mother's Day and birthday present. Yes, very late. <laughs> so she did a two in one, but I'll show it to you. Which way does it go? I don't think it matters. Oops, oh, that's all going wrong. It's a bit big. It's a bunny hat. <laughs> I haven't worn it out yet. It's only because, I don't know, why is it? Why have I not worn it out yet? It's not embarrassment, because you know me, I feel no embarrassment usually. <laughs> Uh, most of the time. I haven't slept in it. I often sleep in hats, but I was worried that this, I don't know, it would come off and end up strangling me in my sleep. I've, I don't know, I've got a thing about going to sleep with cords and strings and things around my head area. So I haven't done, I haven't slept in it and I just, oh, maybe I just haven't got into the habit of wearing it. It's a bit warm now, isn't it? I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> anyway, I better get the sandwich made. Oh yeah, I forgot I had a salad spinner. Well, this is hard to do with one hand. <laughs> I got that on one of my holidays. I'm trying to think where I think it might have been Greece. But anyway, that's so fun. I just wanted a bit of salad for my sandwich and it was unwashed. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. I didn't want to have a dripping wet load of salad going in my bread and making it all soggy. Now I don't have to. Oh, there's going to be some cheese going in there as well. Mm -mm. She says eating the salad. So much me not being hungry. Salad though, you can eat salad anytime it just slips down. There, that's that, sealed up in a sandwich bag. Now the irony is that I have got an absolute ton of sandwich boxes. Where are they? This is the question. They disappear. I buy them, they disappear. I think, oh, maybe they're all at Dad's. Okay, well Dad can keep them. I'll buy some more. And then they disappear. <laughs> so, heaven knows, there's, there's obviously a mountain of my sandwich boxes somewhere. They go to college and they just never come back, basically. Uh, so I'm back on sandwich bags again, which is very wasteful, but it's probably, I don't know, I can't just keep buying more and more plastic reusable boxes. It's like they're for single use at the moment, it's crazy. So anyone else have this trouble with lunch boxes? going out of the house and not coming back. Mm, I do. I think it doesn't help when you split your life among two households and a lot of people do do that these days, especially my daughter because she stays at my dad's in the week. So, Dad, have you got my lunch boxes? <laughs> I've got some of dad's actually. No, actually that's not true. I have one of dad's, which is this one. Right, I have to turn the camera off now and get myself out. And I don't know if I'm gonna film the rehearsal because it's at somebody's house and one does not just presume, one can just barge in with a camera and go waggling it around filming every aspect of their private home. Uh, but we'll see, you know me, I play things by ear and just gauge it as I go along. Otherwise I'll just report back and tell you how it went. He wrote this script and he put all those little bits in. You may have recognised that voice. We were chatting about comedy scripts, weren't we? Comedy and I was scripts, eating my yeah. lunch, so I've wolfed my roll down now. We're about halfway to Guy's place. We've been rehearsing for ages. We're having a little coffee break. The guy's making me a coffee. So that's actually mixed coffee. That's mixed coffee. That's mixed Is he coffee. He's having decaf, isn't that's, he? That's your coffee. Oh, okay, excellent. I think, I think that's Sel's coffee. That's Hugh's tea. Marvellous. Yeah. Oh, what's that in there? Mm. Yeah. Yes.
we're leaving and check out that view that's that's an insanely good view i love that we had a good rehearsal didn't we mick we did yeah yes. i say well we yeah, did. he was just listening you... <laughs> no, I, I i did do my little bit you of singing did, you did and you contributed yeah mick was um Oh, you're all in the shade, and I've got my zoom lens on. Do bear with me, I'll try and move it forward. There we are. Yes, Mick was very good with commentary and saying, Well, from where I'm standing, and blah de blah, and making commentary. a little suggestion. Yeah, he made a few suggestions here and there. Commenting, not commentary. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> And I've got cake in the bag. Guy and his wife wrapped up cake for my daughter. I'm out of walking now. I got in at about, oh, half past six. I had a quick chit chat with my daughter, caught up, because I hadn't even really spoken to her much before leaving, because she'd just been keeping herself to herself in a her room. But anyway, we had a nice little chat. She has only just had lunch and doesn't want dinner. <laughs> Basically, we're eating leftovers from yesterday, but they're very nice, fine, good quality leftovers. So quite happy about that. I'm going to have a nosh on that when I get in. Um, yeah, I just got home and I just wanted to walk, because I've been so sad all day today but we had a really good rehearsal at Guy's house the cake was very nice I've got a big load of it in foil for me and my daughter to share actually uh, very nice yeah we made some good progress Hugh took charge and bossed us all around <laughs> no he was very good um, but people had input as well you know so it was working both ways yeah very good you see that band has a little outing in a couple of months time we're going somewhere we're having a little trip for a few days so very excited about that Anyway, I'm going to keep walking onwards. Oh, here comes Dog Walker. And when I get in, I'm having dinner because I've suddenly got hungry now. I've come out and started moving. Oh, guess who's come back from their walk starving? So this is the remnants of last night's dinner. It's fresh pasta with green beans that I actually boiled in with the pasta. And I sautéed some different coloured peppers and some mushrooms. And I made a sauce out of just double cream and grated cheese. And we did have it with fish yesterday, but I'm just having it on its own today. I've come back from my walk all hot and sweaty. Oh my goodness. It's certainly a workout. Now, do you know what? I was watching a vlog last night on um, a channel that I watch. They're kind of YouTuber friends of mine we've never met. They're over in America. It's called Retired and Loving It. And they do they do out and about videos like I do, visiting certain places. But they also do sit down, chatty ones. Well, actually, they're standing up with a cup of coffee in the hand. But the one I watched last night was on the benefits of walking. And one of the things they said, I hope you don't mind me pinching it if you're watching, and you probably are watching because you do watch all the videos, but they said people think it's a bit of a, you know, a namby-pamby non-exercise. But I tell you what, when I have my walks, I come back dripping with sweat. Honestly, I have a proper good workout, so got that done for today. Oh, that I put some soy milk in that and it's all bubbling up. Yikes. Um, I think I need to turn the camera off and give that a bit of a stir. Got a problem here. Look, it's all stuck together. It's gone solid as a rock. Oh dear, it's because it's been in the fridge, I think. I think what's happened is the grated cheese is acting as cement. I expect it'll be all right once it's had a chance to heat through and starts melting a bit. Got a little update on my herbs that I planted from seed. Look at this wonderful coriander and basil. It's going great guns, isn't it? I've got it on my kitchen window sill now. It kind of seemed wrong to have it in the bathroom after it literally sort of turned into food before my eyes. They're a bit dry. They need a bit of water, I think. Oh gosh, yeah, they've really dried out today, I think, because they've been on the window sill and the window's been open. I am probably going to carry today's vlog on tomorrow because I don't think I've filmed very much and I'm just so busy. I need to go up and get editing tomorrow as well because I've got a lot to do and I think it's going to be one that takes me a good number of hours tonight like maybe from 8 till 11 and then I'll get up in the morning and do another big chunk and hopefully get it out in time because it's a big one it's my cold bone church walk one and there's a lot of footage to go through for that one but anyway I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow hello it's Thursday now I didn't vlog for a few days I've just been intensively editing my way through my Exmoor vlog series if you haven't seen that do feel free to go and check them out but Luna if they never get as many views as my daily daily vlogs initially when I upload them uh, but they are still vlogs they're just me living my life it's just that's what I'm doing instead of being at home anyway I've got my first well no I haven't got my first grey hair I had my first grey hair ages ago but I've got a second I don't know where it is now I can't see it it's in there somewhere anyway I thought I'd share this momentous occasion with you and also I haven't got very good lighting I'm gonna move also I've been thinking lately about how our sense of identity really just keeps on changing all the time like as we age as we get older age is part of our identity I don't know like when I first started working as a musician I think the majority of people were older than me and most of them still are to be honest but I always felt like I was the band baby like for example this is just an example and I always felt like a youngster but I'm you know I'm less than two years off my 50th birthday now I'm not a youngster anymore so that has changed it's kind of weird though and anyway I got grey hair I'm not complaining about the grey hair I'm I can't believe it's taken this long to get any to be honest <laughs> 
Did we even work out where that was on camera? Is there some? Is that? I don't know, that could be it. I think I saw two actually. Anyway, it didn't make much difference to me because I dye it anyway. It's just it's going to be more of a contrast with the roots coming through, I think. <laughs> you can get those sprays or you can just be happy to be grey. I'll probably be a bit of both, probably. I don't know. See how I feel. Um, anyway, I'm supposed to be packing everything up and getting ready because my boyfriend is coming here on his way through because he's been in site visits in the area and he's going home. Our trains are running again, thank goodness. I've got a rehearsal tonight at, I think, his place, actually. I don't think it's where we've normally been rehearsing. I think it's at his house. So I've got to be there for that. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go and meet another YouTuber friend of mine. I can tell you where it is as well, because I think by the time this goes up, we'll have been. So we're going to meet in Penarth, in, uh, on the coast in South Wales. So I'm going to go directly there in the morning from my boyfriend's place. Right, I've talked enough. I need to get packing, because I've got to go quite soon. Hi, they're off. He's treating me to a Greg's for lunch. <laughs> I'm going to have a cheese and onion bake and I'm going to take it home, I'll eat it later. It's now 1pm and IB is doing a site visit and I'm waiting in the car and I think I'm hungry for that pasty now actually so I'm glad I got that. Come to Emma, it was cold. I hope it's the right one because we kind of got them mixed up. I might have a mouthful of meat if it's the wrong one so hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm going to do some Duolingo while I'm waiting for him because, you know, use those spare minutes up productively. IB's put himself one of these fan things that goes around your neck. It's bendy. It's, um, it's very light, I think. He thinks it's very heavy. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into that and hopefully it's cheese and onion. Right, I'm back at my boyfriend's place now. Do you know, it's nearly two o'clock and he picked me up at ten past twelve. So that's been nearly two hours with the stop-off for food and also the stop-off for the site visit. But anyway, I'm going to set myself up at this desk now. My plan is to try and first of all get the vlog up for tomorrow night because I really want to go and meet Donnie tomorrow. So I need to set the vlog up by the end of this afternoon really because I'm rehearsing tonight so I can't do it tonight. So that's number one. Then I need to practice my flute and then also I need to, with the help of my boyfriend, sort out a flip-in set list for a gig that we're not doing till July but it's like a proper festival concert -y gig so I want to get it nailed so we can start practicing it. <laughs> so anyway the kettle is on, I've put the kettle on, IB's gonna make tea and then he's going to work in the office, he's got some bits and bobs that he needs to do. He swears he's gonna finish by half two, there's no way he's finishing at half two, believe me. I know what will happen when he gets in there, there'll be emails pinging in, the phone will be ringing and every single email and phone call will be a task which could potentially subdivide into multiple tasks, branching off and you know as they do. What's There's a word for that isn't there, I can't remember what it is. Anyway I'm gonna get on <laughs> got tomorrow's vlog rough cut yay I can finish that in the morning from there now that won't take me more than about an hour and a half I think in absolute total to get that from that to up and set to pre-publish right I need to get my flute out before I do I've come to have a little look at no mo may see how that's getting on it's getting on amazingly actually it's really tall it's that tall <laughs> that's yeah <laughs> I love it. I've also come to see how the apple tree's doing at this time of year, which is sort of about, I think it might be the 7th of June, something like that today. Oh my gosh, this grass, I've, this is incredible. What am I standing on? There's like a lump there. It's a molehill. There's a molehill down there. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Oh, some, an animal or something just shot in there. Sometimes we get bunnies here. I literally can't even see where I'm putting my feet. This is quite extraordinary. <laughs> oh no, look, 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 there we are. Little apples, teeny tiny ones are starting to come. IB's apples went down very well with his friends last year. He started to distribute them, you know, in music sessions and things. And the people were making all sorts of things with them and somebody even made him some chutney and brought it back in little jars for him. I wonder what that animal was. Those stinging nettles are looking big as well. I think I've missed stinging nettle soup time though because they're all going to seed now and apparently once they get like that, they're past their prime for making soup and stews with them and things. Never mind, one year I'll time it right. I'm gonna go and make myself another cup of tea and I'm gonna get my flute out and I'm gonna do a good hour of like scales and things like that because I was a bad girl. I didn't really practice very much. Well, I obviously didn't practice when I had my week away and then I just been editing all week, but I did an hour yesterday, an hour the day before and I'm gonna do an hour now and hopefully be back up to scratch again by the weekend. Got the kettle on for my tea. Ants are still gone and do you know what? I've been imagining seeing them because I got so used to seeing them and because of the work stuff, it's like it's got little black dots all over it, hasn't it? So I keep imagining they're moving and they're not at all. No ants. That whooshy whooshy noise is the dishwasher. It's actually on for a change. My other half actually likes hand washing his dishes. He puts Radio 4 on and just chills out and he's like in the zone. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go practice. I'll speak to you after I've finished that.
It's about five o'clock in the afternoon now. I've come out for a walk. So I did a slightly more intense than usual hour of scales and exercises on my flute, barely coming up for air. Then I was tremendously hungry because I do work up an appetite playing the flute. It's quite strenuous, you know, believe it or not. So then I wolfed down a packet of crisps and like a, a jam filled bake bar that I'd be adding in his cupboard. We had another cup of tea and we sat down to discuss this set list for a sort of concert set that we need to do. And then we realised we needed to speak to a third member who was not present. So I tried to ring him, but he's actually busy. He's not even in the country. So I said, oh, well, look, don't worry, we'll catch up in a few days. So that's on hold. Um, we're rehearsing from 8pm at IB's. It's five now. IB's gone for a sleep because he had a late night. He was out playing music with his friends on a school night <laughs> or on a work night, whatever you want to call it. So he's tired now because he hasn't had enough sleep. So he's gone to bed and I am just like, oh, I want to get out. And so I am. I'm having a walk. that long ago I made a video walking along this stretch and it had all been strimmed recently and all this was completely strimmed right down and look how much it's grown again in that short space of time. We've still got this amazing weather, it feels like we've moved abroad. We're having an impromptu date, it's hours later actually. Look where we are, well you probably don't know where we are but we're in Goitra Wharf. There's a cafe here and it's closed and we're thinking that we could maybe have a sneaky sit at its benches. There you go me love, chippies and fish and a lovely view and I don't know what that hissing thing is. Mmm, that was very yummy. We've finished up. We can't be long because we've got Dan coming over for rehearsal and there's a bit of a way to get back yet. It's ten past eleven at night now. Dan's just gone home. We've had our rehearsal. Oh my goodness, because we didn't rehearse for a few weeks because last week I was on holiday. Week before that, Dan was ill. We'd kind of forgotten everything that we did. We got it all scored out and written down and everything, but there was rather a lot of kind of fumbling through it again, you know, so it's, oh, I feel like we've gone backwards, not forwards. But anyway, we're getting there by the end. So we got loads more scheduled in now over the next four weeks. So yeah, hopefully we get the new stuff nailed. <laughs> but anyway, I'm quite tired now. Ivy and I are probably gonna watch telly for a little bit and then go to bed. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Could you please give it a like if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.